The toilet. Water closet. The whiz palace. The dummy. The lavatory. The loo. Whatever you call it, we all need one. But we came up with a way to improve this classic device. Hi, I'm Tash, and this is Charlie, James, and Nish. And we're going to talk to you about how we built something called a biodigester toilet. Well, here in Australia, a modern toilet system is never very far away. More than two and a half billion people across the world don't have access to one. And they often don't have access to other vital resources like fuel. So we thought we'd try to solve both problems at once, and this is what we came up with. This biodigester toilet has two water tanks connected by PVC piping in the middle and at the top. One tank is also connected to an inflatable membrane. So you've probably noticed one important thing missing. Where's the actual toilet? Well, for our project, we didn't actually need that part. But in the finished version, the toilet would be attached to this pipe right here, and the tanks could be buried underground. So what does it do and how does it work? Well, the waste goes straight into the tanks and naturally occurring microorganisms go to work, chomping down on any organic material present. This process also kills any germs and creates methane and carbon dioxide gas. The waste settles into solids at the bottom and a clearer liquid at the top. Meanwhile, the gas travels through the piping and fills up the membrane. The secret to making it work is to keep the waste in an oxygen-deprived environment. The tiny little creatures at work are a type of microorganism called anaerobic bacteria. This means they thrive in low oxygen environments, unlike harmful bacteria which die off. So after a few weeks, we're left with solids, liquids and gas, and all three are great resources. The gas can be used as fuel for electricity generation or cooking. The solids can be used as a fertiliser and the liquid can be used as recycled water, like to flush toilets and water plants. It was important to us to make the whole system from scratch, using commonly available materials and tools. We wanted to prove that the system could be made easily without a lot of skill or expertise. This setup is about the right size to accommodate 13 people, but users could make their systems as big or small as they needed. So next time you hit the flush button... Spare a thought for the power you could generate from using your very own waste.